Question 21. What are the types of files used in an organization system? Answer. Types of files used in an organization system. Master file. It contains the current information for a system. For example, customer file, student file, telephone directory, table file. It is a type of master file that changes infrequently and stored in a tabular format. For example, storing zip code transaction file. It contains the day-to-day -day information generated from business activities. It is used to update or process the master file. For example, addresses of the employees. Temporary file. It is created and used whenever needed by a system. Mirror file. They are the exact duplicates of other files. Help minimize the risk of downtime in cases when the original becomes unusable. They must be modified each time the original file is changed. Log files. They contain copies of master and transaction records in order to chronicle any changes that are made to the master file. It facilitates auditing and provides mechanism for recovery in case of system failure. Archive files. Backup files that contain historical versions of other files. Question 22. What is file organization? Answer. File organization. It describes how records are stored within a file. There are four file organization methods. Serial. Records are stored in chronological order. In order as they are input or occur. Examples recording of telephone charges. ATM transactions. Telephone queues. Sequential. Records are stored in order based on a key field which contains a value that uniquely identifies a record. Examples phone directories. Direct relative. Each record is stored based on a physical address or location on the device. Address is calculated from the value stored in the record's key field. Randomizing routine or hashing algorithm does the conversion. Indexed records can be processed both sequentially and non-sequentially using indexes. Question 23. What is systems analysis? Answer. It is a process of collecting and interpreting facts, identifying the problems and decomposition of a system into its components. System analysis is conducted for the purpose of studying a system or its parts in order to identify its objectives. It is a problem-solving technique that improves the system and ensures that all the components of the system work efficiently to accomplish their purpose. Question 24 What is a system? Answer The word system is derived from Greek word system which means an organized relationship between any set of components to achieve some common cause or objective. A system is an orderly grouping of interdependent components linked together according to a plan to achieve a specific goal. Question 25. What are the constraints of a system? Answer. A system must have three basic constraints. A system must have some structure and behavior which is designed to achieve a predefined objective. Interconnectivity and interdependence must exist among the system components. The objectives of the organization have a higher priority than the objectives of its subsystems. For example, traffic management system, payroll system, automatic library system, human resources information system. Question 26. What are the properties of a system? Answer. A system has the following properties. Organization. Organization implies structure and order. It is the arrangement of components that helps to achieve predetermined objectives. Interaction. It is defined by the manner in which the components operate with each other. For example, in an organization, purchasing department must interact with production department and payroll with personnel department. Interdependence. Interdependence means how the components of a system depend on one another. For proper functioning, the components are coordinated and linked together according to a specified plan. The output of one subsystem is the required by other subsystem as input. Integration. Integration is concerned with how system components are connected together. It means that the parts of the system work together within the system even if each part performs a unique function. Question 27. What is the central objective of a system? Answer. The objective of system must be central. It may be real or stated. It is not uncommon for an organization to state an objective and operate to achieve another. The users must know the main objective of a computer application early in the analysis for a successful design and conversion. Question 28. What are the types of systems? Answer. Types of systems. Physical or abstract systems. Physical systems are tangible entities. We can touch and feel them. Physical system may be static or dynamic in nature. For example, desks and chairs are the physical parts of computer center which are static. A programmed computer is a dynamic system in which programs, data, and applications can change according to the user's needs. Abstract systems are non-physical entities or conceptual that may be formula 
Mirrors Representation or model of a real system Open or closed systems An open system must interact with its environment. It receives inputs from and delivers outputs to the outside of the system. For example, an information system which must adapt to the changing environmental conditions. A closed system does not interact with its environment. It is isolated from environmental influences. A completely closed system is rare in reality. Adaptive and non-adaptive system Adaptive system responds to the change in the environment in a way to improve their performance and to survive. For example, human beings, animals. Non-adaptive system is the system which does not respond to the environment. For example, machines. Permanent or temporary system. Permanent system persists for long time. For example, business policies. Temporary system is made for specified time and after that they are demolished. For example, a DJ system is set up for a prog ram and it is dissembled after the program. Natural and manufactured system. Natural systems are created by the nature. For example, solar system. Seasonal system. Manufactured system is the man-made system. For example, rockets, dams, trains. Deterministic or probabilistic system. Deterministic system operates in a predictable manner and the interaction between system components is known with certainty. For example, two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen make water. Probabilistic system shows uncertain behavior. The exact output is not known. For example, weather forecasting, mail delivery, social, human machine, machine system. Social system is made up of people. For example, social clubs, societies. In human machine system, both human and machines are involved to perform a particular task. For example, computer programming. Machine system is where human interference is neglected. All the tasks are performed by the machine. For example, an autonomous robot. Man-made information systems. It is an interconnected set of information resources to manage data for particular organization under direct management control. DMC. This system includes hardware, software, communication, data, and application for producing information according to the need of an organization. Man-made information systems are divided into three types. Formal information system. It is based on the flow of information in the form of memos, instructions, etc. From top level to lower levels of management. Informal information system. This is employee-based system which solves the day-to-day -day work related problems. Computer-based system. This system is directly dependent on the computer for managing business applications. For example, automatic library system, railway reservation system, banking system, etc. Question 29. What are the system models? Answer. Systems models. Schematic models. A schematic model is a 2D chart that shows system elements and their linkages. Different arrows are used to show information flow, material flow, and information feedback. Flow system models. A flow system model shows the orderly flow of the material, energy, and information that hold the system together. Program evaluation and review technique. PERT, for example, is used to abstract real-world system in model form. Static system models. They represent one pair of relationships such as activity time or cost quantity. The Gantt chart, for example, gives a static picture of an activity time relationship. Dynamic system models. Business organizations are dynamic systems. A dynamic model approximates the type of organization or application that analysts deal with. It shows an ongoing, constantly changing status of the system. It consists of inputs that enter the system, the processor through which transformation takes takes place the programs required for processing the outputs that result from processing